go. There we go. There's one on the cut feet. What's up guys, this is Tony with Salt Strong and in this video I want to talk about some common mistakes people make when rigging up dead and or cut bait. Now I've got some frozen mullet here. I'm going to show you how to properly rig them up and some uh, mistakes people make when they do rig them up that's going to cost you some fish and also uh, some bait. So first off, when you're using cut bait you want to have some type of good way to cut them up. These are shears made by Bubba. And first thing I'll do is cut the tail off. You don't want to have a tail on there because that's going to cause your bait to spin in the current. So cut the tail off and then I'll cut mullet into about two to three inch sections. So the first section I use will be the tail section and then sort of the belly section and then the head section. Don't throw out the head. This is a good piece of bait, especially for redfish. So number one mistake people make when they rig up is, go ahead and cut this up for an example here. So I've got a nice piece of mullet here. First mistake people make and something you want to be aware of is when you go to rig the mullet, make sure when you put the hook in that when the hook pops out, you don't leave the scales on there because what you've done is basically uh, you know, hidden that hook point. So make sure those scales are off of the hook point and that will help with your hookup ratio. Now another mistake people make is they will rig the bait up sort of in a way that it's not streamlined. So you want the bait to be streamlined. So what I mean by that is you want to hook it through the narrow end and then have the back end, you know, facing out. That way when it's in the current, you know, it's nice and streamlined so it isn't spinning as much. So make sure that bait is rigged through the narrow section of the bait. And then one last popular mistake I see people make is that they will actually bury the hook into the bait thinking, uh, you know, if you hide the hook, the fish won't see it and you'll, you'll have a better chance of catching those fish, but really isn't true. You want that hook point exposed. So uh, another mistake, we'll go ahead and talk about that, is make sure you're using a hook that's big enough for the bait that you're using. You don't want to, you know, match the hook to the size of the fish you're going after. Rather, you want to match the hook to the size of the bait you're using. So I don't really go any bigger than a six aught circle hook. This is a five aught circle hook with about a two to three inch chunk of mullet. And if you use a smaller piece, you may want to go smaller, but four to a five aught circle hook pretty much gets the job done for uh, many sizes of cut bait. So perfect size right there. Now I know we all like seeing some fish catching footage, so I wanted to share this catch while I was filming this tip. I had a school of reds go right by me along the shoreline. I had the piece of cut bait rigged up, so I basically just cast out in front of where they were heading, let that bait sit there, and had one pick it up. There we go. There's one on the cut bait. <laughs> Just ran into a school of them here. There were a school of them off this point. Got them on the cut mullet. There we go, nice red. On cut bait. So if you are interested in the hooks that I mentioned in this video, again, these are the Owner 5 Aught Moodoo Light Circle Hooks. As you can see right here in the packaging, we do sell them on our shop page, so you can pick them up at fishstrong.com. And keep in mind, if you are one of our insider members, you do get exclusive discounts on tackle and gear from the shop page. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. 
If you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the number one online fishing club because we actually guarantee that you'll start catching more inshore fish. Not only with tips and in-depth courses, but also with our new Smart Fishing Spots app that actually tells you exactly where to fish, when to fish there, plus so much more. You also save tons of money with tackle discounts and network with tons of anglers in your area in the insider community. So thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the insider community soon.